Hello again, Magma WK. And today we're gonna race into space. Who am I? I am the president. I'm not the president. I am the director of the NASA. The American Space Society. Indeed. But why? Why is it a race? I have to go against the Soviets. Even us are to be precise. Now, of course, this game simulation, I can be basic or it can be historical, but we're going basic with a historical roster. Because if I really wanted to, I could edit names like I did for a few streams, but I figure some of my other viewers might want to see this game as well. So, seriously, let's not save that. Let's go over the game here. I'm keeping it level 1 because this game is hard. And I'm making the computer play at level 3, making it more difficult for itself. And astronaut selection, gonna keep that at 1. We could go up to 3 and make it a little bit more difficult, but no. I am the director of the United States. And now the news. Good evening, developments in the news today. President Eisenhower announced the name of the director of America's space program. The director will lead the United States in the exploration of space. And that's the news. I'm Carter Walkright. Not to confuse with Walter Cronkite. Indeed. And in orange text, you get a little historical blurb there. Some of you may recognize this as Bull Buzz Aldrin's Race in Space. This is the GNU version for educational purposes. Thus, I shall educate you on how to race against the Kremlin. But the president right now thinks I need to do something. Indeed. What I need to do is research. But how do I research if I can't buy anything? Well, I have 60 megabucks. And in 1957, the spring, I shall make a decision. What do I want to research? I can choose from three different satellite types, several different rockets, and boosters to help out those rockets. Capsules! This is what you keep your spacemen in. Indeed. But we won't get any spacemen just yet. And of course, some other things you need, like boosters, EVA suits, and docking modules. A lot of different strategies you can employ, but I'm going with the basic, safe way for right now. So let's purchase something. Let's pur purchase a rocket, costing 24 megabucks. Oh my. But that's just the initial. And it's going to be three for each additional one afterwards. But what's that? In red, safety factor. That's how safe it is. They gave me a defective rocket. So what do you have to do with defective rockets? You have to research them. So let's get five scientists on the job for 10 megabucks. For a slight improvement. And also, I should explore a little bit. I'm getting me an Explore Satellite. Indeed. And I can research them up to maximum R&D, but they can be safer after I try them out a little bit. But it's a little bit too early to try them out. Safety factor is rather low. See? Only about 63%. The number, random number generator hates you in this game. Seriously, it can be anywhere from 1 to 100. And this is not important, but I like to get a little bit on the aspect of being in a space complex. Our Cape Canaveral. 
we know about 55% of the moon, but so do the Soviets. We're placed at about equal setting. Soviets tend to have less reliable parts, but oh my, let's hope none of our astronauts land in there. But they also have, are less expensive. And we'll learn more about the Soviets starting around the fall of 98. See what our CIA can do. And later on, we'll be assembling that those crafts. One of the things I researched. So basically, what you need to get in space is a rocket. And then send something up with the rocket. But we haven't made any history quite yet. So let's go ahead and end our turn. And the computer takes a turn real quick. And we're all ready to fall. Yep, only two turns per year. So let's find out what's in the news today. Good evening, developments in the news today. Operation Paperclip has brought in a top German rocket scientist to aid in the space program. R&D will improve from this development. And that's the news. I'm Carter Walkright. Thank you, Walter Kong Cronkright. Through the various seasons, uh, random events will help appear to help or hinder, or sometimes do nothing, to your R&D or other budgets. Yes, I get an annual budget in the spring. And I could take a risk and plan a future assignment. But Magma, why don't you just send somebody into space right now? That would be daring, wouldn't it? Indeed. See that factor of negative 42? That means danger. That means it'll take 42 points. Off my safety factor. Like I need to do that already. So let's just send an orbital satellite in the space. And pressing the spacebar, I can see the steps it goes through. Simple three steps, right? You launch it, you get it past the atmosphere, and you have it turn on. Oh, really? And we're going to hold off on the astronaut recruiting for quite a while. Until we know what's really up there. It's space. What do you think of this there, Magma? And eventually through the years, you'll earn prestige on how well or how poorly you do your job. Doing your job is based on missions. And of course, you can always save and load. But that's not the point. I am not quitting the game. I am playing the game. And in the next video, we might do a little bit more research. We might actually launch this darn thing. With a 43% factor? Mmm, maybe. I went up, Keith, saying goodnight. And if you do decide to go into space, send the test satellite up first. Seriously. <laughs>